Okay, that was the what, uh, now the how. And uh, we've covered a bit of this, but uh, repetition is the key, as I mentioned before. So we'll cover some of it again. Um, anyways, with regard to security awareness, you are trying to raise awareness. You are trying to make people aware. Um, there's a really interesting book on uh, uh, security, well, not so much on, but about, um, by Fred Cohen. Now, Fred Cohen, uh, his books, all of them are very unusual. He, he takes very idiosyncratic approaches uh, to a lot of stuff, and that makes them all the more valuable, because this is, this is not your usual uh, type of, of approach to these things. So, you know, everything that Fred Cohen writes is useful, believe me. But anyways, he's, he's got this guide, um, which is supposed to be uh, the type of thing that you can buy in bulk and hand out to your employees. And um, this, uh, you know, the, Okay, you got you got this book. You got you know on on security awareness, um, and what are you going to do? And you open it up as an employee. Uh, you don't know anything about this stuff. Okay, and yet another thing that uh, the uh, company wants us to read, and it's it starts out with physical security, but it starts out with the physical security of things like you know leaving your purse on your desk when you go to the bathroom. And stuff like that. It starts out with a lot of stuff that is of use to the employee. That protects the employee. And and so you're reading this stuff and you're thinking, hey, you know, this is actually useful. At which point, of course, you as an employee start thinking, maybe there is something to this security stuff. Maybe this is of benefit, not just to the company, but to me. And, you know. Once you've got their interest in that way, then we can go into talking about password choice and why we want to do password choice and stuff. So, you know, a uh, very, very good approach. As I say, idiosyncratic. Most of the time, they start right off with, okay, you got to choose a strong password, and this is the way you do it. You know, why? What's in it for me? Well... You know, Cohen starts out with what's in it for you. So, uh, very, very good uh, approach in that way. Getting buy-in first. So make sure that you do get buy-in uh, from your people when you are promoting information security. Uh, okay, uh, that's, that's to start with. Now... Um, there's all kinds of, of things you can do, all kinds of ways you can do it. It's not just, uh, you know, lectures. It's not just uh, somebody coming in from the security department and telling you you've got to change your password. It's, you know, keychains, little tchotchkes, um, uh, you know, mouse pads, uh, stress balls, whatever, you know, all these trinkets that, that business has, you know, selling the company, you use it to sell security. You know, little giveaways that people at work collect, you know, all kinds of things that you would never buy for yourself, but you're eagerly grabbing because it's free from the company. Well, you know, market it with uh, security slogans on it so that people understand what security is about what we are promoting in terms of their security so you know uh, like I said little little trinkets that you get um, there are the lectures of course and some of them on um, uh, specific topics and make sure that it's a topic of interest to people like you know spam how to protect yourself against frauds and scams in your own personal email. You know, the, the text messages that you get, all this kind of stuff. I'm doing a lot of those myself right now for uh, seniors groups, for school groups. I just 
you know, last week I did uh, one to a grade five class. Um, they, ha, huh, uh, they were learning security concepts. I didn't start with the security concepts. We just went through the different things and they were developing some of the security concepts as they went along as at you know towards the end of of what we were doing they were starting to say oh we should check this good that's in in security that's known as authentication yes that's important and so yeah you know um anyways lots of these things uh that you're doing for people gets them aware of the principles and therefore the principles can be applied to their work um so, a lot of those things. And, and there are companies uh, that will provide this for you, uh, provide ideas. And, um, you know, crossword puzzles, games. Uh, there are, um, oh, uh, newsletters and, and things that uh, uh, can be, uh, you know, you can uh, get it from, from different companies and, and they will uh, produce this stuff, which you can then brand with your own company logos etc um you know all kind you know and and of course you're doing it in terms of the the repetition in different ways of the same message uh uh one of the places on the notice board unfortunately got out of business but they would uh you know every month there would be a theme uh a different security area that they would be talking about and a whole raft of different materials that you could get uh so you know do it in a variety of ways uh, make sure that you are uh repeating the message in different ways the same message simple messages make people aware motivate people to pay attention to the policies and to be active in their own security and therefore the security of the company. Yeah, all kinds of these things in security awareness.